Hi, this is Ashwini and uh, this time uh, I'm wondering if uh, technology is the new God. And I've mentioned this uh, many times before in my previous video that we are in the era where, where technology is king, technology is like God. We cannot do without it. So why am I saying that? Well, uh, first of all, the earth is now slowly getting covered with millions of satellites and these satellites uh, are creating a network in which information is being transferred yes and then now we have the blockchains where the information is stored within different blocks and connected by lots of different computers we have the bitcoin which is gaining popularity and the Ethereum, which is the new uh, uh, kind of an app or uh, a platform in which uh, there are lots of computers which are connected together and you can build a contract, you can build an app, you can exchange money and there is no control involved in this, no governmental control as such on this type of technology. There's also uh, the concept of e-gaming, uh, there may come a time in which people play games virtually on supposing um, there is a huge football field all right, uh, on a virtual scale and there is a football and uh, then there are players on one side, players on the other side and each player is a human being who is connected to a computer and they start the game and they play together virtually. Right? or a group of people supposing play cricket uh, or play tennis with a collection of computers and win or lose the game and people watch this match which is going on and we all know about gaming how it is so then you can imagine a virtual disco people are dancing around in a place where there's music going on and perhaps there is no physical uh, place where there is music but there are lots of people who gather together virtually and dance around and move around and see what is going on according to their choices of how the disco should be all right so that could be another reality which is there or you can just imagine a simple person like me in the kitchen making food and I'm taking a streaming, a live streaming class. And I have other mothers who join me uh, or other students who are there who join me. And I cut my vegetables and, they're also, and I can see them cutting vegetables. And I tell them, this is not the way to do it. Or add more chilies or, you know, put some more salt or this needs to boil more on a virtual scale in my kitchen. Right? So that can happen. Or you can take a musician who's playing his guitar and singing and he has his fans with him in front of him, not physically, but virtually. Uh, or he is in their home playing a song with them singing together. So these are some possibilities that can take place. Or if you're a businessman or a woman and just through the analysis of the pupil there's information inside in probably a lens and in which uh, you know information is given about the person you have an access code and you probably can read the neurochip inside his brain is he happy today is he sad can I offer him uh, uh, you know my product and will he invest in me is he in a good mood does he like champagne? Does he like uh, potatoes? Does he like uh, continental food? Maybe if I take him to a continental uh, lunch, he might accept uh, my proposal and he might, you know, um, buy my product through a Bitcoin. Okay, and immediately by one command, the Bitcoins get transferred between two people by just one single command or some gesture or a voice command which is there now audio commands and audio contracts and uh, computerized audio constructions of uh, material and articles is becoming more and more prevalent so will we go 
towards a stage where everything is like a matrix and like the Terminator movies, will a time come when this is going to happen, when human life is going to be threatened? I am all for technology and we should embrace technology, I believe. But then how much we have to keep a constraint. And so the technology that we have becomes the new God that we have. Imagine a cyborg or a robot who is controlling all these transactions which are going on and is supplying the connectivity for you. And he decides if he doesn't like you and you don't say uh, hi to him or you don't pass the bitcoins to him in large amounts, you just cut your stream. Okay. And then you'll be blocked forever. Right. As an entity. So, will a time come like that? What do you think? Are we heading towards such a situation where humans are becoming less and less and just masses of bodies and brains which are stuck in one place and the robots and the internet and all these artificial molecules are going to take over the world? Well, it's something to think about. Uh, I hope we don't get there. I hope we uh, learn all of us to keep a fine balance between uh, such immense technology and uh, being natural and being unique and being human. All technology, even if we have such a satellite system and virtual reality, I think uh, we need a lot of power for it and that should be harnessed with the sun which is there. So clean technology should be used to have this type of technology. That is my uh, idea on it. What do you think? You do you have some ideas of how the future is going to be? Do let me know in the comments section and I will see you next time with a different topic. Bye bye. This is Ashwini. Bye.